Hey there, everyone. This is Alcow playing the McDonald's LCD Sonic games, and now we start 2004. And <laughs> immediately, we can see things are getting pretty extreme with Sonic Extreme Boring. What is the shape of this thing? It's a moldy R. <laughs> what is up with that? I guess there's a bit of a like just looking, looking a bit ahead. There's a bit of a sports theme going on a little bit so yeah Sonic. <laughs> i don't know like how do you hold this what is the size of the i wish it was a potato on the photo so we could like compare sizes uh, that's what the back looks like oh it's a little bit transparent you can see the circuitry you can see how most of this is there for fun and i mean yeah it is fun Ooh, look at that oh wait a second is this like can canada no this is like all french Sonic the Hedgehog, planchiste extreme. Éviter les obstacles et recueillir les anneaux. Bonne chance. Uh, the buttons, like everything, says pretty much what you would expect. Uh, yeah, put it on button. So this must be like what the they gone France. France was allowed at the time to absorb Sonic the Hedgehog content and buy them and everything. At the left, you're going to get 20 rings per shot. So 20 rings per shot. If you hit five obstacles, they're only called obstacles. Game is over. You get the thumbs up with a massive thumb on that hand. Like that is, you should probably see a doctor. And uh, once you won all the levels, you won the game. And there's going to be blinking. And then you press a button and you can play again. And there's a whole lot more like copyright information. Uh, and also, there's a fun warning on this side there. Dans un milieu dans lequel se trouvent des décharges électrostatiques, des perturbations de fonctionnement du jouet peuvent se produire et entraîner une perte des données. Dans ce cas, ils attendent d'arrêter et remettre le genre. So basically, if you're in a place where there can be electrical discharges, that can uh, shock the system and can mess it up and it might erase data within it. So uh, I'm not sure what you're supposed to do when that happens. All right, well, here's the game. Controls are left and right. So this is getting me vibe of um, one of the DS special worlds, but I mean clearly that's not what it is because I don't know if it existed. That music though. All right, so ring and obstacle. Whoa. Okay, you you don't fly off for very long. So, okay, this is super awkward. Uh, I missed. So I think I missed the ring there. Okay, but there I got it. You gotta, you gotta do that a little bit to make sure you get it. Yeah, that's right. See, look at that. Way more complex. Instead of moving, like, around a plane, we're moving across a curve. My entire life cycle has just been altered from this unbelievable data. Yeah, so combining... Oh, whoops. Combining dodging and collecting. I've always felt like... The collecting part of these games to be the heart. Wait, what do you do here? I guess you do that. All right. I guess it's like a wall of spikes. But here they make you do a little bit of both. And it just kind of keeps going. Like, it turns out 20, 20 rings is a lot when you're going at this blazing speed. Also, yeah, big thumbs up. Very in a way. All right. Also, you get like in the, these in between spots. All right, that are seems to be like always safe almost. So to keep that in mind, I guess. All right, look at that. Uh, whoop, yep, yeah, don't get bopped. There we go. So that's that's what the sound effect says. It says there we go, there we go. I'm the robot. I'm saying there we go. That's the wrong. That's the wrong franchise. No, that says here we go. And we don't talk about that unless we're in a gnome game. All right. So here we go. Yeah, there, yeah. As soon as I realized that you have like in between states where there are never any obstacles, um, it kind of broke the challenge of the game entirely for me. And I mean, how long would it take a child to find uh, that blind spots for spikes? I have no idea. No on screen indicator what level you're at though. Like, I want a chevron or a trophy or like, I don't know, a hot dog. Put a three chili dogs on on the screen so i can tell where i'm at so i can brag all right well i messed that one up i just that was just a bad 
All right, and those are gonna happen sometimes. Sometimes you just do a bad, you know, and then Sonic's like, hey, that's fine. That is the Sonic morality right there. Mm-hmm. You can tell that, like, he, oh, shoot, I keep, I keep moving right into them. Like, I say, like, oh, you just go in the diagonals, you'll be safe forever. But that's only true if you actually do that. I keep, like, I keep rushing for the rings, basically, which I think is appropriate for the game that I'm playing, all right? I will couch my bad decisions under the guise of role-playing, and you can't do anything about it, all right? There you go. Victory for me again. So as the game goes faster, I feel like there's a lot less density of spikes, but I don't know if that's, like, accidental or if it's, like, on purpose. Like, I don't know how one programs a game such as this. You know, like, 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 like the order of how they're gonna combine all that. Like, I have no idea. Like, I understand, like, a video game will use code the same way that a word processor will use code. Or, like, a program that shows me a picture of a cat every time I turn on my phone. Like, I get it. Data does this because it uses computer parts. But this is flashing stuff on an LCD screen. I mean, yeah, it's like, it's like a clock, but, like, this is a clock you get, but no, yeah, you can get direct control over a clock. Like, when you change the time, when, like, it's daytime saving or something. Or, you know, during one of the 50 power outage you get in the, an average year. Okay, so it's just that, but, like, a lot more than... Alright, I un kinda understand it now. I did it. Oh, I missed that ring. Yeah, I never feel like I collect the rings. Like, I, the game tells me I did a good because it goes diddly. And, you know, I like hearing diddly. And it makes me... That classic Sonic song. And then, fear the dot at the end of the horizon. For there lies the beginning. And there lies the end. Do you dare approach the dot.